Network. Welcome to Feel Good TV. Coming up on today's show, I'm chatting with Sally Madison, who is a personal trainer and an online trainer as well. So she's going to actually talk us through an extreme shredder program to help you get a toned body. So welcome, Sally. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> so Sally, first of all, start off by telling us, when did you become a personal trainer? Uh, I started in the industry 10 years ago, so it's been awesome 10 years. Uh, the last five years I've been into fitness uh, model competing, so I've done uh, national shows and international shows as well. Wow, international shows too. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about why you got started into fitness modeling. Uh, I guess I just uh, you know, got a love for weight training, so that's where it all started. Um, I had my first show back in 2009, and from there I was uh, you know, seeing that the systems of training I was using was really helping my clients. So that made me want to develop the online space more. Uh, you know, through things like social media, I had a lot of people asking how do I get the fitness model body uh, without necessarily getting on stage, so that was why I wanted to develop the, the Extreme Shredder. So tell us what exactly is the Extreme Shredder program? Okay, so it encompasses training, nutrition and supplementation for fat loss, not necessarily weight on the scales. Uh, there's circuit style workouts that not only shape your body, but will also, you know, make you tone up and yeah, lose fat. Okay, so you've mentioned circuit style training. Why is it so important that you base the program around circuit training? Um, well, as we'll, I'll show you in a minute, basically working from an upper body uh, muscle group to a lower body muscle group um, and in quick succession, that really does give you the fat loss component of the workout. Uh, obviously intensity is a big part of that, but yeah, definitely in that kind of order. And that's how I've developed all the Extreme Shredder workouts online. Okay, so with the Extreme Shredder workouts online that you do provide, they're all in a video format, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's expressed in a way that I could actually be training with you in the comfort of my home or at the gym, is that correct? That is correct, yes. So every exercise that I have, it has a video component. So you could know next to nothing about weights training and feel pretty confident walking in with your little iPhone mm -hmm. um, or your little program and be able to you know, access those videos. So with the program, um, six weeks mm -hmm. is the program. So if I'm a beginner, or perhaps I've been exercising for some time, yep. will the program benefit both ends of the scale? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you start at the intensity that you want to start at. Everything in the program is always about uh, injury prevention. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, a lot of people that have come from even a running background find that the Extreme Shadow will actually help them with their running because it'll not only, um, you know, get them stronger, will actually help them to stay injury free. So I've always got that in the back of my head. Now, you have a fitness component mm -hmm. of the program, because obviously it's very important. You know, we need yeah. to build strength to get muscle tone. That's it. Uh, you mentioned there's a couple of other areas. Tell us about the nutrition component yeah. that you have involved. Sure, so obviously that is a big point, as we know. If anyone's ever, you know, uh, been on a fat loss program, nutrition is, um, first and foremost, I guess, where a lot of the fat loss is gonna come from. Um, I'm not a massive fan of extreme diets or anything like that. I basically give people guidelines for eating and from there, they can have variety within their diet. So, you know, a lot of it's common sense. Um, and what I tend to do is after the six weeks, I'll get them to reintroduce certain foods that I said to try and avoid in the first six weeks. So. Sometimes it's about shredding first and then reintroducing to make it more maintainable. So can you share with us now some of the foods that mm. we need to incorporate which can really help us get the best possible results yeah. in a shredder program? Yeah, well, there's a little um, saying I like to have with my clients and the Greek meaning for the word protein is of most importance. So that's something that I always try and, you know, 
redirect to my clients and say proteins should be your biggest portion on your plate. So that's going to help again fat loss, muscle development. Um, with that, you want good fats and also uh, plant based and some starch carbohydrates. So basically, in the program now, we have the exercise videos that you can follow, mm -hmm. we have a diet that we can follow along with as well. And you've got variety from basically beginner all the way through to advanced. But what is it that really makes your program unique, your online program, to any other weight loss program out there? Okay, so what I do find is that people will be really frustrated with you know, having done other programs and not getting the result they want. They either have an area of body fat that they just can't get rid of, and I find that this system of training actually can help those stubborn areas of body fat. Uh, in the meal plan and supplement protocols that I have in the book uh, that comes with the training series, they will help to target the stubborn areas of body fat. So we look at uh, hormones in the body and how they can contribute to fat loss as well. So it kind of goes that one step further in terms of um, you know, fat loss in general and yeah, stubborn areas definitely. <laughs> stubborn areas are probably a real motivation drive for people to start the program. Definitely. And you know, get results with shredding and getting that muscle tone that they're after. Now, if I decide I want to take on your program at home, do I need some basis of equipment to get started? Yeah, definitely. Like, I would suggest getting a barbell, um, dumbbells, and even just a few things like a plate. Weight plates are always good, they come in handy. And yeah, that's pretty much all you'll need. Uh, today's workouts, you know, just got all those all those pieces that you can do at home. Um, ideally, if you had a chin-up bar, awesome. If not, there's other varieties or uh, things you can do to create the at-home workout. Okay, so can you talk us through now a workout with all those pieces of equipment yep. that anybody could do if they were on your online shredder program? Yep, so today we're going to run through four. Uh, we're going from upper body to lower body. We're predominantly focusing on the legs and the back. So two big muscle groups uh, that's going to create fat loss and it's going to get the heart rate up. Okay, so today what we're going to be focusing on is four of the circuit style exercises that you'll find in the Extreme Shredder program. We're going to be focusing on back and legs. So two big muscle groups that's going to help you burn fat and calories, but also tone your body. We're going to be doing uh, a reverse pull up. So it's utilizing upper body, particularly your back. So it's great for posture as well as getting the heart rate up. Okay, so the reverse pull up, we want to focus on tempo. So you're coming up for one, hold for one, then lower down nice and slow. So you're always trying to engage the muscles you're working. So in this uh, case, it's mid back or between the shoulder blades. Uh, this one also, if you are a beginner, you can start with the feet a little bit more uh, in. And then as you become more advanced, the feet can come out more and have more of a straight leg. So that's how you can either make it for beginners or advanced. Excellent. Now, how many reps should we be doing? Because it's a body weight exercise, I find with this one being our first exercise, uh, less repetition. So I aim for eight to 10 on this one. And then how many sets? Uh, we do four rounds of the circuit. So then we go straight into a walking lunge. So you'll find this will really start to get your heart rate up. With the walking lunge, the biggest piece of advice I can give is for people to always drive through the heels on the front leg and also keep their hips level. So that will ensure that we stay injury safe and we uh, utilize or we activate the right muscle group. So in this case, the glutes, quads uh, and hamstrings are working as well. Now with the walking lunge, is it weighted or not? Either or, again, you know, if you use weights, you're obviously going to create a more intense workout, you're going to get the heart rate up. Uh, but if you are a beginner, I would just focus on really good technique. Mm. So hips level, driving through that front leg, uh, again, making sure posture's proud, chest is up, shoulders back. So technique and form is really important. And yeah. that's something that yourself, Sally, you pride on mm -hmm. with your program is having the video right there that you can watch 
on your iPhone in the gym. Yeah. Um, and it actually demonstrates the correct technique and gives those key components exactly what you've just spoken through now. Yeah, definitely. Someone asked me one day, what's the secret to uh, staying in shape? And I said, to remain injury free. Because once you get injured, you know, it always takes you a step back. So yeah, technique is very important. Excellent. So now we've actually worked on upper body and lower. Is it back to upper? That's it. <laughs> So uh, we go back to a barbell exercise, uh, the bent over row. So with this one again, tempo is quite important. Pulling in one, hold for one, and then again we lower down nice and slow. Focus is through the mid back once again, uh, keeping the chest proud. And as you tip from the hip, just make sure that we keep weight in the glutes, hamstrings, and our knees remain soft at all times. And again, how many reps should we be aiming at? So on this one, as we progress, we're going to be doing higher reps. So as the workout prog progresses, the heart rate's going to go up more. So I'd be aiming for about 12 to 15. This is uh, called a quad squat. So with this one, you really want to be able to turn the knees out. The tempo is faster. So tempo is the pace at which we lift or which we move. This one would be a two down, one up tempo. So it's one, two up, one, two up. Uh, we complete 20 reps here. So again, the rep range goes up and I'm telling you right now, your heart rate's gonna be through the roof by the end of this one. And then we pro obviously progress back to the reverse pull up. So we start from the top and go through the four once again. Okay, so that's a great four different exercises there that you have in a circuit. Now, four rounds mm -hmm. is what we're aiming for. Yep. Are we looking for a break in between each round or do we just continue? We go straight through. Straight through. No wonder why you build up a sweat and start to shred. That's it. <laughs> and um, I think anyone doing the extreme shredder as well, there's no uh, intense cardio components. Uh -huh. So this is, in other words, your cardio components. So you're working fast through it. You'll get your heart rate up just as much as you would going for like a 10k run. So tell us now, it's a six week program. Mm -hmm. Why did you design it to be six weeks? I guess six weeks is a great uh, time frame to change habits. I find if you've nailed it after six weeks, it's going to be a lifelong change. And that's what I try and you know educate people on, is that you just don't want to do the six weeks and then that's it, you go back to normal. You want to create lasting change so yeah six weeks was a, a good benchmark for people i think okay mm. and throughout the six weeks if i have any questions or mm. concerns is there some sort of point of contact that we have with you what can we do yep when you uh, become a shredder and you uh, join up you have access to forums so basically there's a lot of frequently asked questions in there so I tend to preempt what people are going to ask mm -hmm. and then I'll pop them in there. So a lot of it's already answered, but if there's a query that is not in there, then yeah, people can, can uh, write it in the forum and I answer, yeah, pretty much straight away. So. Let's just recap now yeah. on everything that's part of your Extreme Shredder program. You have a portal, so people will mm -hmm. log in, mm -hmm. they'll be able to see their videos, the video exercises that you provide, They'll be able to see the book with all the information in regards to nutritional component, as well as the form. So it seems like you've covered a variety of areas here mm. from research and obviously your experience in developing the program. If somebody wanted to get started on the program or if they wanted more information, where could they find that? Uh, just go to my website, sallymanison.com.au, and you can pretty much sign up and get a, uh, a username and password and log in straight away. So thanks a lot, Sally. It's been great having you here share your wealth of knowledge, and I look forward to being part of the Shredder Tribe.